From its beginnings as part of the Kingdom of Sweden to its current position as a NATO member, the Finnish military has a long and complex history. With a focus on national defense and a unique system of enlistment, the Finnish military has developed a reputation for adaptability and resilience. In this video, we will explore Finland's military history and its current capabilities, from its doctrine of territorial defense to its investments in cyber defense and modern equipment. Join us as we delve into the world of the Finnish military and learn about the brave men and women who ensure the safety and security of their nation. The Finnish military has a long history, starting from the 16th century when Finland was part of the Kingdom of Sweden. Throughout the years, the Finnish military played a vital role in many conflicts, such as the Finnish War, leading to Finland's autonomy under the Russian Empire, and the War of Independence, which resulted in Finland's independence in 1917. During World War II, Finland joined Germany to fight against the Soviet Union. However, after the war, Finland had to cut ties with Germany and adopt the Pasekivi Kekumen philosophy. This philosophy aimed to preserve Finland's independence as a democratic capitalist state next to the Soviet Union. The Finnish government maintained positive relations with the Soviet Union to avoid a war. Despite rejecting foreign aid from the American Marshall Plan, Finland signed the Oiwaya Treaty with the Soviet Union. During the Cold War, Finland focused on improving its defensive capabilities to deter any potential invasion. In 1968, the Finnish government approved the philosophy of territorial defense, which involves using large areas of land to slow down and weaken an enemy. The Finnish soldiers were known for their ability to adapt to harsh winter conditions and use guerrilla warfare tactics against a stronger enemy. Their fighting spirit was epitomized by the term Saisu, which represents courage, resolve, and resilience. Furthermore, the concept of complete defense involved the mobilization of all societal resources for national defense during times of crisis. Finland had a long-standing policy of neutrality despite its complex relationship with Russia. Through participation in the NATO Partnership for Peace program, Finland maintained strong ties with NATO, allowing for joint training exercises, intelligence sharing, and collaboration on defense and security initiatives. This partnership enabled Finland to stay informed about evolving military threats and technologies while retaining its policy of military non-alignment and focus on national defense. However, following the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Finland applied to join NATO, and on 4 April 2023, it formally became a member with the fastest accession process in the treaty's history. Finland's military has a unique system of enlistment that ensures a steady supply of trained individuals ready to defend their country when needed. This system is based on mandatory military service for men, making all men above 18 years old required to enlist for 165, 255, or 347 days. Each year, around 27,000 individuals enlist for training, and about 80% of Finnish male citizens complete their enlistment However, conscientious objectors have the option to perform alternative civilian service, and female citizens can choose to serve voluntarily. This widespread participation in national defense creates a strong sense of unity and shared responsibility among the Finnish people. Another important aspect of Finland's military is its investment in cyber defense. As the world becomes increasingly interconnected, cyber threats are becoming more and more common and Finland has been proactive in developing its cyber defense capabilities. The Cyber Defense Unit, which was established in 2015, is responsible for protecting the country's critical infrastructure from cyber attacks, and the National Cybersecurity Center coordinates cybersecurity efforts across the government and private sectors. In terms of equipment and technology, Finland has made significant investments in recent years to modernize its military capabilities. For example, the Finnish Air Force operates a fleet of 64 F-A-18CD Hornet multirole fighter jets, which will be replaced by 64 F-35s of the latest generation starting in 2026. Additionally, Finland has purchased new NH-90 helicopters, which are capable of transporting troops and equipment, as well as conducting search and rescue missions. 
Finland has approximately 239 German-made Leopard 2 tanks, as well as 56 Hammers multiple launch rocket systems. The Finnish military also has 96 K9 Finn armored howitzers, 62 armored personnel carriers, 56 units of 155 K98 howitzers, 212 infantry fighting vehicles, and 48 Patria AMV armored vehicles. In terms of naval assets, the Finnish Navy operates four major surface combatants, including two Heminma-class missile boats and two Rama-class missile boats. In addition, the Navy operates eight smaller fast attack craft, three mine warfare ships, and numerous auxiliary vessels, along with a number of transport and utility helicopters. Although the Global Firepower Index ranks Finland's military as the 51st most powerful in the world, its unique doctrine and position allow it to have a significant impact. Finland's military strategy is focused on mobile artillery use, and it possesses more artillery than Germany and France combined. Finland employs highly skilled small units to disrupt and weaken larger invading forces. Mati Pesu, a senior research fellow at the Finnish Institute of International Affairs, has stated that the Finnish army and land forces will play a crucial role as the backbone of allied land forces in Northern Europe. We hope this video has shed light on the crucial role these brave men and women play in ensuring the safety and security of their nation. As the world continues to change and new challenges arise, the Finnish military will undoubtedly adapt and evolve, remaining ever vigilant and prepared to protect their homeland and its people. Thank you for watching. See you at the next one.